I wanted to twist. Like that's gonna gimbal lock if you get that. So if I change this to Y, X, Z, and so I can twist this arm and it doesn't. So my understanding is that's the better option. Um, and so I'm gonna parent this under here and I don't, the other thing I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna try this two ways. I'm gonna try this, I can move my mouse where I want, uh, before I mirror. And let's see what happens. Uh, so I'm going to select my hierarchy and then I was working on here, go rotate order script. All right, list relatives, I don't need to print. Uh, actually, I don't. I'm just going to grab the root. List relatives. For each joint in the relatives, I'm going to set attribute rotate order to number four, which is rotate order. So this is rotate order zero, one, two, three, four, Y, X, Z. So, and this one is for a different one. So let's just load this up real quick and see what happens. Right, it didn't take long. So everything should be Y, X, Z now. I feel like that would gimbal lock there. X, Y, Z. Why is everything in this file still X, Y, Z? That's not right. It's almost as if I didn't do it. Right. Oh, fascinating. Huh. So here's something that I wonder if it's going to happen. Let's just do mirror that behaviors. So that, right. Yeah. So, okay, good, good. Then... What I'm gonna do, you know why? I bet I know why this is ha this happened. Okay, because if I select hierarchy and I'm gonna run my, so uh, my two arguments are gonna be arm and hand. So arm is the appendage, the end is the hand. Just so I have, wait, I'm not running that one, am I? I'm going to run control rig list index out of range. Okay, All right. I'm gonna select hierarchy and run control. The problem is going to be now, right? If I, that was weird. Let's unparent that, let's delete that. These are all going to be X, Y, Z. So I have a question then. If I change, right, rotation orders on, they're still gonna rotate, but if I change it on my bind rig, I mean, I would think it wouldn't really matter on my uh, bind rig, it would matter on my control rig, but if I do that, what will happen then is the next question. Let's back up here. All right, so I think this is resetting. Yep, that's just getting rid of that, uh, getting rid of the script. So, okay, X, Y, Z, everything here. Nope, root rig. So, oh, right, that's the one that got created. Okay, so let's go back to this rotate order. We're just going to set this back to zero. And I'll select the root and run the script. Everything will be set back to its default. X, Y, Z. Okay. Then there, select the hierarchy from the cog joint, create our control rig. From the control rig, let's run this as a four. And I want to see if this messes anything up. It doesn't appear to, right? We still are constrained correctly. So this will be a nice experiment to play with. Um, and then here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our, here's the other thing we're gonna do. We're going to go back before I created all those. Whoa, where did these numbers, null herders come from? Whoa, that was interesting. Is that from this? That's the thing I, anybody knows what that's all about. Please tell us. Once again, freeze transforms, you never know. Then what I'm gonna do is, all right, we're gonna select this hierarchy and there's a few joints that we're not gonna need to worry about binding. First is actually the cog. I got the spine, the neck. I don't need these end joints, right? And then I actually, because I'm using these twist joints, what I'm not going to need I'm curious about this, how this is supposed to work. In theory, I'm not going to need the upper arm bind joints, uh, right? Upper arm, because the twist joint will follow that. How's it gonna follow that if it's parented to the clavicle though? I think it's the same for the thighs. 
So yeah, in theory, I guess these joints aren't going to move. No, they're going to move. Are they going to move? We'll see. Okay. Uh, I also don't need toe ends. Uh, and then I don't need these last ones. Right? So these won't be, don't need to be skinned. And I think that's right. So let's create a set or a quick select set, but we'll call this bind joints set. So now they're here. I can just select them. Then I can select the sprinkles body meshes and I can bind the skin. So the thing I was fooling around with here, normally I was going with closest distance, but I'm checking out heat map, which I guess takes longer, but also can be a little bit more precise, not 100% on that. And it takes a little longer to calculate. And I'm just waiting for calculation. All right, so let's select this hierarchy. We'll go rotations off for now. And, um, but I did also notice that the problem was sometimes these roll joints don't get picked up. That one doesn't. So, and actually I wonder, let's select set members. No, let's just grab, turn that reference off. Let's grab this and this, and let's just go to skin edit influences. Bring up add influence with lock weights apply. So that will be in the influence list, but not messing with it. Why am I so bad at this all of a sudden? Maybe I've always been bad at it. Who knows? No. Everything else I think worked out okay. But beep, 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 beep. Um, and supposedly, I mean, that really helps with places like these fingers here, right? That keeps that like kind of really tight. I mean, I have to paint it at some point anyway, but this is just so I can see the deformation here. So let's select the hierarchy and let's create our control rig. And then I wonder if now, because this is skin, I did the root again. It's really weird. Did I select the root? I don't remember, but I can go back. But I'm going to select this cog and I'm going to then try this setup. So now everything, all right, did it let me? I feel like it didn't let me. Y, Z, X, okay. Why isn't the cog changing though? I think these aren't. Oh, they are. Weird. Let's undo. Let's undo running this. Cleared that out. I thought I'd done, I don't know. I don't understand what's happening. Let's try this. Zero. Let's try that. So now all these have gone back, but have all these gone back? No, they're the same. So now my pelvis joint does not have the same rotate order, but that's more going to be uh, for the animators, you know, so they don't get caught when it's because it's the twist joint that's actually going to be moving along with the upper arm joint, I guess. Twist for arm. Oh, how did I get two of those? You gotta be kidding me. All right, let's delete all that. Unhide. Oh, no, that's right. Uh, so I feel like, so what is this constrained to? It says select the node. So is it that just those nodes aren't there? Okay, so they're set there to the skin clusters. But I think it says selected, but there's no node there. So let's do this. I'm going to increment and save. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it was just a, a window update. So come back to select hierarchy. Let's unlock everything here. Let's do root and let's play this. Right, so everything here is X, Y, Z. And something's freaking out over here. Upper arm bind. So what is this thing? Lower arm bind, hand bind, lower arm twist, hand twist. Okay, so it looks like we, you know, yeah, joint one. What is this thing? Why does it do that? Why do you hate me, my asshole? Oh, something got weirdly parented. So this should actually be parented there. Weirdness. Did, did it happen on the right side? Let's not even worry about if it did or not, actually. Let's select objects and let's unbind the skin just in case. Okay, delete this right side. Jeez Louise. Okay, so it looks like we're good there. That'd be a cool script. Go through, there's a joint one, you know, that accidentally got duplicated. Okay, I'm good there. 
and then everybody is X, Y. Okay. So I'm going to select the center gravity, select the hierarchy from the center of gravity, then create my control ring. We'll see how this goes. Okay. We can hide this one, but we can still select them, right? Then select the body, shirt, shoes, best hands, do a skin. So this is just me practicing over and over, doing it wrong, doing it wrong, doing it wrong, and then hopefully doing it right. And then hopefully having kind of these scripts. So I basically realized too, I'm very, very much just barreling through these scripts that aren't, uh, you know, they're not very elegant, shall we say. And then, uh, see about learning how to start creating them in a way that is more elegant um so but now this should drive that yep okay now i'm gonna grab the center of gravity i'm gonna set this to four play it and see if that doesn't do anything weird okay now you might want to take a break xyz yeah because these i did not so I'm going to go back um, and uh, give this a pause and go back and look into what the rotate order I wanted it to be. I know I wanted a lot of them to be four. Actually, I should make some sets of that, but I want that different rotate orders. All right, B, R, B, everybody. Okay, I'm back here. So what I did, actually, let's go ahead and go back to the OG rotate order. So this basically just loops through the selections, reset. So everything's at X, Y, zero. So what I'm doing here is I want these all to be uh, starting off at Y, X, so Z as priority. And so I know that's rotate order four. So I'm gonna run that here. So they're all Y, X, Z. And then I went through and I found these are the ones that I actually want to be at Y, Z, X, uh, which is number one. So it would be uh, index number one, zero, one. So Y, Z, X is one. So I just run this. So now those are at Y, Z, X. And these joints I want at Z, X, Y, which is number two. And I could just run this one. And in theory, those are going to be, for the way that this rig is built, going to be the best way uh, rotate order for the joints. And supposedly that's something that's good for games too. I don't know. We will find out. Then I'm going back to my, my uh, so let's name this tab so I don't have to keep looking for it. My FKIK Pi Mel. So um, I, have, I come over here, I've updated this uh, to add a pole vector. So, and it's really not very elegant, does it? Um, at least for this specific rig. So it's gonna create the pole vector here um, and it's still referencing the uh, three joints selected. So you're, it's gonna be your upper arm, middle, lower arm, and wrist. And then I have these four channel and channels, four axis and axis, which I have up here at the top. Translate, rotate, scale, axis, X, Y, Z. So I don't have to keep typing translate, rotate, but I don't want it to this to affect the scale. So sets the attribute. If it's not the scale, sets the attribute, uh, channel and axis to zero. So transform, rotate. Um, so what it's going to do is going to create the empty transform, uh, parent it under the elbow, and then zero everything out. So it's going to snap to that elbow. It's going to be at the same, have the, the when it's all zeroed out, it's going to have the same rotational axis and stuff as the elbow. So then I'm going to unparent it from the elbow uh, and give it a display handle. And this is something actually I want to go back and do for all the controls I'm making. Uh, so I can see it in uh, world space and select it without having to dig through the hypergraph. Um, then what I did is I just am guessing here, uh, and it seems to work okay for this one. So I create a distance node, a float constant node, 
which will store the distance between. Everything else I saw like involved 